In 1995, when I developed Charcot Marie Tooth, I was just married. We were maybe married less than a year. We were starting our life together, which was really exciting. And then wham, I ended up being diagnosed with a sarcoma, which is a rare cancer. And the chemotherapy triggered off this neuromuscular disease, Charcot Marie Tooth. And it was really difficult for me because I was a runner, I was a skier. I rollerbladed back then in the, that time, that's what people did. I, live in, I lived in New York, I still live in New York, so I used to love going out in Central Park and walking the streets and life was good. And then I got struck by CMT and I developed onset very quickly. I like to say that I had 25 years of progression in one day, basically. So you can only imagine, it was really debilitating because I lost the use of being able to walk normal and I also lost the normal use of my hands. So what that means is you, the intrinsic muscles start to get affected. So you're dropping things. I remember after this, I used to eat, I still eat a lot of Japanese or Chinese food, really Japanese food, sushi, I love it. And I wasn't able to use the chopsticks. So little things that people take for granted, um, I lost that, the use of my, using my hands fully, but the hardest part was the walking. And I really did not want to wear leg braces. So I walked for many years with this terrible gait and we were very concerned because we were starting our life together. We wanted to have children. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to have kids because of the chemotherapy. And I actually, just as a side thing, I had a reoccurrence. Can you imagine? So I, I had the cancer. I go through chemo, radiation, they take the tumor out. And then exactly a year later, I had a reoccurrence. And at first, all I was worried about was obviously being cured and living. And then once I get through the cancer, I have this debilitating disease. And at the time, the doctors kept telling me it was a byproduct or a side effect of the chemo, but it really wasn't. I wasn't improving. So when I seeked out and I found out that I had CMT, it was devastating because I lost the use of walking normal. So what I ended up doing was um, doing everything I could to stay active. I did physical therapy probably for three years straight. And when after we knew that I was done with the cancer, we decided to have children. And we knew there was a risk, but now I really know what it's like to live with this disease. And it was a hard decision to make, and I'm glad I had children. But what was interesting was they were in a stroller and the stroller was like my walker. So I kind of got by because I was able to use that and walk. And then when my kids got out of the stroller, oh, it was devastating because I got to a point where I just, I was falling all the time. I really couldn't leave the house unless it was with my husband or a friend holding their arm. And it just got to be unbearable. So finally at that point I went and I started, I went to a doctor and I ended up getting a prescription for AFOs.